why should the end time prophet whom God calls Elijah come in 2017? Because his number is 17. Hey, this is George Chuang. Elijah appears in the 17th chapter of 1 Kings, and Jesus says Elijah is coming first in Matthew chapter 17. What is the significance of the number 17? Oh, this is an important number. You see, God had Moses record for us the date of Noah's flood. When the rain came down in Noah's flood, God made sure that the date was recorded. It says, in the 600th year of Noah's life, in the second month, the 17th day of the month, on that day, all the fountains of the great deep were broken up and the windows of heaven were opened. Then in Genesis 8, it says, then the ark rested in the seventh month, the 17th day of the month. From the very beginning, God wanted you to know this number, 17. Now let's take a look at some prime numbers. Now prime numbers can magnify certain numbers. Now notice the sixth prime number is 13. Six is the number for man. Now six is not necessarily evil or bad in any way. It's just the number for man because God made man on the sixth day. Now when you magnify six, you magnify man and you get the number 13. 13 is the sixth prime number. And 13 is the number for rebellion. Now, just in case you're thinking, uh, but I was born on the 13th. Does that mean that rebellion will somehow be related to my life? Well, no, because numbers that have a negative meaning also have a positive meaning. The positive side of the number 13 is that it stands for strength. So usually when a people become strong, well, they tend to rebel. But that doesn't have to be the case if you walk with the Lord. Also, Ephraim was the 13th tribe to be added into Israel, and Ephraim became the strongest tribe in northern Israel. And yes, I did say the 13th tribe. So you could be thinking, well, I thought there were 12 tribes in Israel. Ah, yes, that is true to a certain extent. You see, God will only recognize them as the 12 tribes of Israel. So why did God have Jacob split Joseph into two tribes and make a total of 13 tribes, if God will only recognize them as the 12 tribes of Israel. In the listing of 12 tribes, one tribe is always left out. Why? God does something strange like that. Your prophecy ear should be up because God is trying to tell us something. I'll get to that in another video, maybe my next video. But back to the numbers. The seventh prime number is 17. The number seven stands for perfection and rest. So when you magnify the number seven, you have 17. So what's the meaning of 17? 17 can stand for spiritual perfection, perfect order, restoration of all things, victory. That's why the rain came down on the 17th day. God had victory over the unrepentant sinners in Noah's flood. He destroyed them all. Then the ark rested on the 17th day because everything on earth was restored back to normal. A restoration of all things. Remember, it's a magnification of the number 7. Jesus rose from the dead and had victory over death on the 17th day. You see, Jesus was crucified on Passover the 14th and he rose again three days later, which is the 17th. We have now begun year 2017. And the Hebrew year happens to be 5777. We just finished four blood moons in 2014 and 2015, and nothing major happened. We also had a sign from God in the Malaysia flights MH370 and MH17. What plane just disappears? If you haven't watched the video, you need to watch the video. It's clearly a sign from God. Look at all the numbers. The numbers line up perfectly. It was my first video and I'll upload a HD version of it. I'll put a link at the end of this video and uh, one at the bottom. The year also ended with three supermoons, one in October, November, and December. The one in November was the closest the moon has been since 1948. 
the year Israel became a nation. 2016 was also possibly the year of the Jubilee. Now some say it's actually 2017 and I'm not going to argue with that because God had the actual date of the Jubilee lost in history for a reason. But it could be 2017 or it could be 2016. Now after all these signs that God has been giving us year after year, nothing has happened so far. But what do they say? There's a calm before the storm. Here's a bonus scripture for you concerning the end time prophet for those of you who have been waiting with me. The Lord says concerning him in Isaiah 28 2. It says, Behold, the Lord has a mighty and strong one, like a tempest of hail and a destroying storm, like a flood of mighty waters overflowing, who will bring them down to the earth with his hand. And it continues on and says, In that day the Lord of hosts will be for a crown of glory and a diadem of beauty to the remnant of his people, for a spirit of justice to him who sits in judgment, and for strength to those who turn back the battle at the gate. When he appears, he will give strength to those who turn back the battle at the gate. And God will be for a crown of glory and a diadem of beauty to the remnant of his people. That entire passage in Isaiah 28 is all about the end time prophet. I'll expound on that in an upcoming video. So you see the blood moons possibly, the super moons, the Malaysia flights, the jubilee, all this. It points and culminates into 2017. 17 Elijah's number. And this prophet is a prophet to the whole world, not just to Israel only. And so all these things have been building up to this year. And I'm just praying, God, let this be the year that you send your prophet out. If he doesn't appear in 2017, then I really have no idea when he might appear. It's practically written in my heart that this is supposed to be the year. I feel so strongly about it. But this is not a prophecy. The Lord did not tell me when he is supposed to appear. I just want to make that clear. This is from my own understanding. I wish you all a blessed 2017. Have a wonderful year and may you all experience spiritual victory and become spiritual overcomers in 2017. The number for victory. I'm going to try my best to bust out more videos next year. I really need to get the teachings out before God sends them. And if you haven't subscribed yet, hit the subscribe button. Hit it like you really mean it, like you really want to subscribe. Yes, I hope you would want to subscribe. Unless you have already subscribed, then if you hit the button, you would unsubscribe. In which case, uh, don't hit it twice. But hit the button if you haven't done so already. 2017, yes! I have awaited for this year, O oh Lord. And I'll see you guys next time. Oh, I love you, Jesus. Thank you, God. Let this be the year, God. 2017. Bye-bye. And if you haven't subscribed yet, hit the subscribe button. Hit it like you mean it. Hit it like you really want to subscribe. Unless you have already subscribed then you would unsubscribe. Don't do that. Very, very bad.